I do a metal art. I've learned how to do it uh, being part of some charity events a few years back, quite a few actually now. I started creating my art to use as a background or a surface for other artists to do their art on at charities. And uh, my art is related to what I do for a living and what I have done for a living for over 40 years. I spent my whole life pretty much in the auto body industry. Normally when you tell people that have never seen my art that I uh, work on metal, they, they can picture all kinds of pieces of metal all ground down and hammered into shape and welded all up and big things like that. Well, if you see my art, you can see it's actually nothing like that at all. Uh, my art is definitely a byproduct of my auto body business though, where I'm using metal to work on and grinders to create designs on the metal surface and uh, special paints which illuminates that metal work. It creates motion in the art. My paints are acrylic urethanes. It's a very modern paint. It's an auto paint, okay? But it's not for painting your nine to five cars you see going up and down the road. And a guy like me, for the most part, doesn't get to use them very often unless you're a hot rod shop, you know? And around uh, Toledo, Northwest Ohio, where we're at, there's a few guys that are lucky to be able to do that, but most of us are now. But uh, I, I found a way to be able to use these paints in a way I never expected to, you know? And when you mix them and uh, spray them, it's like instant magic, you know? Initially, when I started creating my own art, uh, my own ideas and things, I was working with car parts. But my art for me is that I get to create these designs on the metal that aren't just some random grindings they're not real intricate. They're mostly in the abstract, but the main thing that I like about the art itself is working with color. The colors I use are very pure, uh, very vivid. I'm not like an old Star Trek guy, you know, or Star Wars. But my art has got a way of looking like outer space, you know. I'm really proud to say that what I've done is mine, you know? I didn't, I didn't find it somewhere else and copy it, you know? It's just something that came from inside me. But that's one of the greatest things about doing art and being an artist is letting these things evolve and happen naturally. Just trying to make something as good as possible, that style is gonna happen on its own. It has to happen.